Hey guys, it's Lori at ArdentDesigns.ca. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a lorem ipsum text box. So this is basically just dummy text. So if you were doing, say, a infographic or something like that, and you want it to, to uh, go in paragraphs as you write, it would just come here, determine the size of your next word, and then put it into a proper paragraph style, as opposed to just grabbing the text tool and clicking you know, making a sentence like so, and then pressing enter to make a new sentence. So this takes the guesswork out of it and you don't have to do something like that. So let's figure out how to do that. We'll go to the A tool, this here, click on that. And we're gonna create a text box. So I'll just create a text box about that size and you'll see the cursor is right there. So without clicking on anything, we'll go up to extensions, come down to text, and then we have this lorem ipsum generator right here. We get this pop-up box and we're gonna click preview. Uh, I'll uncheck it actually. So your default settings are five, 16 and four, something like that. And you can play around with these settings, but um, in order for it to fit in this box, you will have to pull this out a little bit more. Like if you actually wanted 16 sentences per paragraph, I'm thinking something smaller. Uh, we'll go with actually what I have here, 242 and I'll click live preview. And that's good enough for our purposes today. So I'll click apply and then I'll close out of this menu. So now we have our text, but what if we want to put something else in there? So I'm just going to grab all of it. Oh, actually, instead of doing that, I'm going to grab the portion that I want. I'll press control A to select it all. And then I'm going to triple click in here, press control A, control V. Okay, so then I've just copied and pasted it in there. Alternatively, you could just, you know, um, just type your own text by hand, whatever you wanted, and it would automatically determine the next, the size of this word here, and then it would say, okay, we can't fit here, so we're gonna put it here. But you see it's gone in these paragraph styles here, and that's what you want. Anyways, if you liked the tutorial, please do hit the like and subscribe button, and thank you for watching.